boom, collision. We hit the very top of the building, so let's call it floor 13 in a 12-story building. Sprocket Jockeys, 1994. We were doing a series of demos on the East Coast. Ben Salem, Philadelphia, and then Long Island. You see, the promoter for these things, this guy Robin, was kind of shady. I mean, he'd, we were grateful to be doing these shows. They were good times, but he'd kind of cut corners where he could. And uh, decided to like put us up in the Hofstra University dorms. So I ride there on my own, find the way to the dorm, maybe 12 story dorm, memory serves me well enough, empty as can be. Push floor number four, and the elevator's kind of sketchy from the start. Just some weird little like hyper movement, and then just takes off like full speed straight up. And I'm in there by myself, like full speed headed to this, to wherever, boom, collision. We hit the very top of the building, so let's call it floor 13 in a 12-story building. We, the elevator was going so fast that I like launched off the floor, practically hit the ceiling, landed back down, just you know, balled up, not knowing what the hell happened. What's going on here? Is this elevator just gonna drop and go the other direction? You feel like a caged animal. You're realizing there's only one dude in this building. I don't think this is my death, but I'm like, this could be a day. I could be here for a long time. We're on the fourth floor and I'm up at the top of the building. What the hell is gonna happen? So I start hitting the alarm button. No one answers. Start screaming every profanity you could think of. No one's paying attention. And I realize I'm freaking stuck in an elevator by myself in an abandoned dorm. Everybody else is still back, you know, a couple miles away. I dealt with it by doing like sit-ups and push-ups. It's kind of like De Niro in Cape Fear. And then writing, uh, writing lyrics to a rhyme that I did the next day in the demos, you know, to uh, get revenge at Robin, the fair promoter guy. At least two, three hours is passing and I'm in an elevator by myself. Jerry had heard me but didn't realize it was me, but he went, he was up on like the 11th, 12th floor to do laundry. That's where the laundry was. And, and heard what he went down and described to everybody else as, there's a madman singing in the elevator. So Keith Trainer decides to go up and inspect this whole thing with him. And they go up and they're like a floor, floor and a half below me. And I and they hear me, you know, singing. And I hear Keith goes, Is that you, Dennis? Is that Dennis? You think it is? Dennis is stuck in the elevator. And uh, when they eventually got me out, it was like one of those full pry bars, door opens, and I got, you know, six feet to jump out from where I'm at down to the floor level to be rescued from Hofstra University which turned out to be the Jets training camp and they stole Nick Lowry from the Chiefs that year so I wasn't happy about that either.